Hey everybody, this is GP with another presence tapping video. And uh, if you need, uh, you've never seen one of these before. We're tapping without words, and uh, you don't have to say anything. I will, I will be kind of guiding it like a guided meditation, but you don't have to repeat after me at all. So I always like to start with just taking a couple of deep breaths making the exhale longer than the inhale. Let your attention sink into the body as you close your eyes. Just feel the body. And after a couple of breaths, just feeling the body, just start tapping through the point. Tap and breathe. Now, many of you uh, have done or are doing inner child work, which is essential for most of us. We all have parts of us that feel um, neglected, abandoned, uh, unloved. Just let yourself um, bring that to mind. And the desire to nurture and free the inner child. And whatever it is that it's pained about, whatever it didn't get that it should have, you know, however it might have been neglected or abused. And presence tapping, we're not doing any direct processing on it. We are just creating a space, an open, safe space for the healing work to take place. Your nervous system, which is what has gotten stuck in the dimension of the history of the inner child. is uh, capable of releasing that energy, freeing the child. But it's got to feel safe to do it. And EFT tapping is very much a, a tool for creating that inner environment of safety. So you can just do presence tapping on your own. You don't have to say a word. Just the desire, the intention to bring comfort and nurturing to your inner child is all that's required. The energy makes use of that space. And that's what we're doing right now, is creating that space. And if anything in particular comes up, some memory or some feeling, some emotion, recognize it. Do your best to welcome it and remain present with it. If you imagine yourself as an adult, Some little child comes running up to you, completely in distress, afraid for whatever reason. You uh, wouldn't be telling it anything. You wouldn't be telling her she's got to read some book or take a course or even tell her she had to tap. You just pick her up. set her on your lap, you'd hold her, you'd hug her, you'd embrace her, you'd say, it's okay, you're safe here. 
and stroke her hair. You'd just keep holding her. Not even really saying much other than it's okay. She may have a big story to tell. She may open up and through the tears, tell you what happened, tell you what the experience was that set her into distress. She may not. Maybe just the, the quiet of your loving embrace, of the safetyness, safety you recommend, you represent would be enough. Just holding that space and loving it. And eventually she'll come down and maybe tell you the story, maybe just hop off your lap and run back and play. It's up to her. Our inner energy is exactly the same. There are things we can do in, in processing. I do them all the time when I work with people. It's a very useful thing to do, to just see where it goes and it's bringing her or him closer to you. Really close. Because remember, this is you. It is just a alienated, disowned part of you. It's not somebody else. It is an aspect of our of you that, for some real reason, somewhere in the past, got fragmented off. disconnected. And we're just creating a space now where we can welcome it back. So safe that it can come back home to you. The adult version of you, which it very much needs. The little one can't protect themselves. They can't self-regulate. They can't handle their own emotions. But you now, as an adult, to a much greater degree, you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to perfectly work through all of your issues. Just the open space, the loving heart, the, the willingness, the intention. It's enough. It's known. It's, it's felt. Really opening our hearts to ourselves. And Letting go of the unconscious self-rejection, the so lack of self-acceptance that we just accepted as normal. And so got ingrained in the nervous system as a continuing thing. We are intending and choosing to let it go. To Welcome back into our hearts that, that disowned child within us. There may be many different periods in your life. Many aspects of us that get disowned. But it's the same for all. You're opening your heart to all, little by little, just 
by saying yes to this, by desiring to have this meeting with your younger self. We just tap, hold that intention. Don't try to force anything. Don't look for anything. It'll come. The moment it senses the safety, it will, it will come. Gradually, maybe tentatively, checking to see if it's, if it's really safe. It will come, he or she will come. And it can be very subtle, just a feeling that runs through the body, right? It can actually even dissolve just by this. Like that little child on your lap, she may tell you the story, she may not, it's not important. You're just being present with it. Just tapping on him or her, even though you're also tapping on the adult you. You're tapping on her, him as well. So I'm going to be stopping the video, but you can keep your eyes closed and keep going with this for as long as you want until you, until it feels like it's time to let this particular thing go. And of course, you can go back and revisit these anytime you like. They're here on, for perpetuity on, uh, on YouTube. So um, thank you for going through that with me and um, keep going if you like. Till later, namaste.